hello and welcome to my channel so in the last video i was talking about the beginnings of my experience when i was placed in uh, primary school <laughs> and the fact that i absolutely hated it yeah okay so here's my first day this primary school is in the middle of nowhere but also it's on a busy street like it was just hard to find anywho i get there and of course these kids they've probably never seen a black person and they're just like very confused <laughs> and they're looking at me like who is she and i remember walking down outside going onto the next class right because it was like all straight and all the classes were like that and the kids were running behind me <laughs> And I turned and I see all these kids are running behind me, the clock that I see them. And what do they do? They just kind of run away like he, 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 he. And I'm like, oh, okay. Anyway, that was just odd. And I was just so excited, exhausted all the time because whenever I had a break in between classes, they would try to sneak in and... I don't know just to see me and I was just mentally exhausted and there was no like teachers room per se so it was like I was always on and I was just tired they were I had to follow the book that they had given me so I didn't really have that much leeway in terms of you know engaging the kids because of course you know they 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 already doing English with their English teacher but i am there to do conversation but at the same time they just wanted me to reinforce whatever they were doing which was fine but i thought i would have like a little bit more leeway but no they're like yeah you're doing this you know these pages and that's it i was like okay so the only thing that i had were you know just playing some games in between to get them a little bit interested and playing some songs based on whatever topic we were doing so that was cool but it was always you know one or two kids that they were just not trying to listen so that was the first and last time that i did that i kicked two students out because i was like you guys are not trying to listen and the moment i kicked them out i started like playing a game where everybody was super excited so they were just standing outside looking inside like oh i wish i could do that and yeah the next lesson they you know they knew they knew not to mess around because if you want to have fun yeah you have to be good so that was pretty dope but in general the experience wasn't great and then i just i just got you know moved somewhere else i was like thank god because i absolutely hated it but yeah uh i i did other schools for example i was working for a training school which is basically where parents put their children to do intensive english i did that uh, in the evenings because the kids came in after school i'm telling you like i feel sorry for them they were like four or five or something like that like it was yeah anyway i also worked in a um, kindergarten i oh my god bless their hearts i loved it i loved it i had so much fun the kids absolutely enjoyed all our classes we're playing dancing jumping around drawing yeah kindergartens listen if you have no teaching experience kindergarten is the place for you it is physically draining mainly because kids just have so much energy but once they warm up to you oh my god you're just gonna have a blast and i remember my last day when I was leaving, they were all so sad. And I remember these two kids coming to me and giving me like the biggest sticker that they had. And you listen, once you are there, you know, you understand how much stickers mean for these kids. So for them to like relinquish the sticker and give it to me, like I was just like, seriously. And I remember uh, teaching them the song, um, hello, 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 how are you? and whenever they saw me in the corridor and they were going for another class they would just start singing it <laughs> i yeah yeah it was a great experience i absolutely loved it everything else was amazing and yeah the only reason why i had to come back is because they just would not renew they wouldn't give me the correct visa to be able to actually work so i was like okay i don't want to be blacklisted because i love traveling and i don't want this to you know have a stain on my record so yeah i'm just gonna bounce 
if you want to learn a little bit more about that you know i will leave the link down the description of the article that i wrote about it but yeah it was very hard actually to find games uh, you know to help the kids have fun in class so when i came back i was like nah you know i need to do something for teachers so i have this website where i have some games you know flashcards and stuff like that where you know you can come pick what you need and just be inspired but anyways i will leave everything in the description down below and i will see you in the next video bye